Ahoy! This tutorial will show you the process I went through to get this specific wig look. Um, this is emulating Tatsumaki or Tornado from One Punch Man. I'll show you the process of getting it to look a little more natural like this first. Then if you want to get it looking a little bit more detailed like this. Firstly, the things you'll need. A wide toothed comb. A wig brush. This isn't one, but meh. Alligator clip. A flip ton of bobby pins. Hairspray. Spiking gel and craft glue. And a hairdryer. You will also want to look at a reference picture as you go. This wig actually came with them sweeping the wrong way, so it is worth a check. Firstly, I'm going to start out doing the fringe. It is good to separate the layers when styling this, and you can use the alligator clips to do so. As you go, comb or brush out the strands so you're not setting them tangled or messy. Once you've got the general shape that you want, give it a bit of a hairspray, pin it down, and draw a tiny amount of gel and glue mix over the very tip of the strands. This will A, keep them together, and B, give it an extra bit of point. Just a quick tip, when you pin the curl down, make sure the bobby pin is perpendicular to the hair strands, and that the hair is gathered towards the bend in the pin. That way it won't set flat. Disclaimer, you should be really careful when using any sort of glue on your wig because pulling or catching strands on stuff can pull hair out. You also want to be wary of the glue discolouring or yellowing over time, so don't leave the wig like this for too long. And it is entirely possible that you may never get the glue out of the wig. If you do by some miracle, the wig itself may never actually look the same as it did originally. So be 100% sure before doing this method. If you want, you can separate each hair cluster as you go, but it's not that necessary. Once again, we shape the hair how we want, give it a bit of a hairspray and run through a tiny bit of gel glue mix. 
This time though, you don't want the ends to form a point, unless that's how you want it to look, but in my case, I ran it through the hair so it laid flat. Then you just want to curl it straight up and pin it flat using the straight section of the bobby pin. Spray it again for good measure, I guess. So each curl should look something like this. Another quick tip, if you curl the sections at different levels, the layers won't be as obvious when you take them out. Got flyaway hairs? Just pin them down, but I don't think they matter that much. isn't detailed enough for you, you can basically glue hair strands into pointer curls like I've done from this point onwards. Also remember use minute amounts of glue. Don't use as much as I have in this shot because eh, I'm an idiot. Take note I haven't actually glued the curls all the way to the root because then you would have a permanent nana do. I know I've said to use a little bit of glue, but make sure you have enough so that you can get all of the hairs within each cluster. Because over time, the hairs that don't have glue on the ends of them will probably drop, and then the wig will end up looking messy and fuzzy and yeah. Again, for the same reason, I suggest doing random placement of the curls rather than doing each layer of curls along the same level. Now you can take the pins out straight away like I've done and you'll still have your general shape but over time the curls will probably drop and with all the product in it storing the wig will probably be a little bit too hard. So I would suggest either A doing this close to the convention slash photo shoot date or B leaving the pins and stuff in on a wig stand until you actually need to wear it. If I'm going to be honest, I think I prefer the more natural look to the detailed look, but hey, you live, you learn. If this wig were thicker though, I think it would have been perfect. <laughs> 